like Ride with me if you ride with me, you can slide with me if you feel like 550 on the fast sticky, come get high with me, that's a deal, right? Ride with me if you ride with me, you can slide with me if you feel like 550 on the fast sticky, come get high with me, that's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? That's a bet, right? That's a bet, right? That's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? That's a bet, right? That's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? That's a bet, right? That's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? Ayy, coming down like precipitation. I ain't never met a limitation. Hate applying my elimination. Gotta go to Google for the information. I'm a superstar, so I gotta shine. Top dollar be the bottom line. Bottom feeding out of line. Turn your heart rate to a dotted line. Yeah, my zodiac probably dollar sign. Got the energy to win in my I'm feeling great. Got a date with destiny, focusing on my fate. I don't give a fuck what you rapping, you been a fake. I'm everything that they ain't. It can't be, it won't be. Wanna see me fall, I can't go, I won't leave. Coming from the block with plain clothes and police. Straight up to the top with bank rolls and rollies. Ride with me if you ride with me. I have to say, eight times out of ten, I get a counterfeit product or something that's just junk from Amazon when I order it. But these, they're up there. I like it. I dig it. Bravo. You can slide with me if you feel like 550 on the fast stick. You can get high with me. That's a deal, right? Ride with me if you ride. Back at the garage. Corey's working on some stuff. That's going to come out. Maybe. Hopefully. Those are already out to make room for that coming out. That was a topic of discussion earlier. <laughs> so, kind of explain briefly. Um, so right here is a 1992 Polo dashboard of what's left of it right now. Um, oh, by the way, and a latest plug, this is normal. That's normal? This is normal. So my life is valued at this bolt this is a shear bolt right here so in case of an accident this bolt will break and this will collapse huh so it all hinges on this guy that's the important guy right there this is it so i guess the older the better right <laughs> right, right a bit fragile as well so yeah, the plan is that um, to remove the dash because there's a lot of questionable wiring that's kind of been stuffed up under here <clears throat> over the years. There was a competition stereo in here at one point. Um, there is a full wiring harness for an Audi underneath there. There's a lot of tape and zip tie underneath there. Um, I found six relays bouncing around back there. Um, this is, is gonna come out, so I think the easiest plan of attack to get to everything is gonna be to pull this off and see what we got going on. Yeah, take it all out. So, that's kind of where I'm at. Um, and I'm just trying to kind of plug stuff back in as I go. Right, so you don't forget. So I don't forget where stuff goes, even though, like this fog light switch, actually that's not true, that fog light switch worked. But like this uh, rare defrost switch, yeah, isn't even plugged in. There's no wiring for it. Right. There's wiring back there, yeah. but there's no wiring for it. Now, would I ever use it? No. But like I, I want it to work. Yeah. Um, like this headlight switch and everything like that. This all works. The real stat switch for the headlight leveling works. Um. The blower motor's junk, so, I mean, they are on most old cars anyway. Uh, cigarette lighter does not work. I'd like that to work. It's kind of a priority. That should just be two wires, right? Going yeah, yeah. Well, you would hope so. I wonder if it's just not plugged in. Boost gauge is, is intermittent, let's call it. Um, intermittent electrical power or intermittent pressure? Intermittent pressure. Okay. So, the little hose they use yeah. uh, is, like, right here, actually. And it's quite long. Instead of trimming it, it's kind of spooled up. Right. 
So that could fix. Uh, I'd like to put an air fuel ratio gauge here yeah. instead, and then use my panel up here for my boost, um, coolant temp, uh, not coolant temp, oil temp, and oil pressure, or something else. I don't know. Uh, definitely boost though. Um, actually, shouts to Joe Booth at Perfection Plastics for making the little 3D printed one. I don't know where it's at right now. But I'll find it. <laughs> it's around somewhere. Yeah. Maybe it's over here. No, I don't know. Um, it's somewhere. So, we'll see. Yeah, actually, I don't know if you can get a good look at that, but this is what we're dealing with right now. Try to. Yeah, this is. There's an ECU in there. There's a lot of disconnected wires. There's. Interesting stuff going on. There's one, two radio antennas, just in case you really wanted to get good reception, I guess. Um, yeah, it's just, it's all, it's not, I'm not going to use any of it. It's all going to come out. So, this is me getting it way over my head. <laughs> it's a first for everything. Yeah, it's certainly going to be a first, that's for sure. Still air. Yeah, it's still there. Well, I heard you do a little uh, skid. Ah, I don't know who you're talking about. <laughs> I had yeah. to turn around in the most efficient way possible. <laughs> oh, man.
ignition. Those are all that there. This is all that there. That stays in there. Oh yeah. You go in there. That goes there. Uh oh, we got some tip tied stuff. Uh oh. It's my favorite. Let me grab. No, I got it right here. Okay. I found a bunch of other stuff. I don't suspect this to be factory, but they have brown zip ties, which are pretty cool. Brown zip ties? Yeah. I think he's brown. The Germans. I don't know. I don't think the Germans use brown. I don't, I don't think I've that's, ever seen a brown zip tie. That's too much color for you know the Germans to put in. Oh, all right. So we've got wires that run through that support brace. Through that support. Only one one possible solution. Just cut them. It's this plug right here. So I'm gonna unplug it. Tell myself I'll remember. What about that white well, we got it on camera. That's true, you can go back to the yeah. footage. I think that's, this is stereo, so that's getting removed anyway. There's one white wire, where do you go? Oh. Uh, there's a, it's taut behind this piece of tape. Right? Yeah, I'm trying to see where it goes in here. It gets looped up. No, no, if you cut the zip tie, it'll come out or something. Cut the zip tie? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it doesn't, it's not even plugged in. Boy, I've done it now. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's your problem. Oh. I think I'd rather just start over. <laughs> it doesn't weigh anything. So. Yeah, no, no, I get it. Oh. When's dust off? April 25th. I don't know. <laughs> ah, nah. You know, it's not as bad as I. Remember, you just doing the wire marks, right? Yeah. Um. So, like a lot. No, it's like yeah. Is it good afternoon? Oh, sorry. That's <laughs> no, right. It's all right. I don't, don't want to just nest. I don't want to put it on the ground. I don't really. I think I'm just kind of gonna. It's only plastic. Yeah, so. the back side is fine. Yeah. yeah. Speaking of only plastic, that shit falling. Oh no, that's. That was just uh, zip ties. Um, so a lot of the problem stems from this area here. Oh my god. Okay. So, just for safety's sake, let's plug you back in. Yeah. And this is all, this is the engine wiring harness right here. And it looks to me as if every single wire was cut, fed through, and then soldered then again on the other side. Oh, wow. What do we say? Don't buy other people's projects? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Antennas, 
the issue is that there is a lot of extra wiring. Yeah. Um, but I mean, is that not to say that you couldn't clean it up? Because of the age of the swap, I, th I don't think removing the stuff was what they did. Like now, like, yeah, I can slim down the harness to just the bare necessities, and then it would be half of that, or less than half of that. And I think um, that would kind of be the ideal thing to do. Because right now it's passed. It was just kind of stuffed up there. Um, right now its path is to go through No.